Monsoon thought they won. Whiplash won a split. Then after an appeal, it became unanimous. So which of these scores is the correct one? Let's review the match and score two more times. In week 10 of BattleBots World Championship 7, the 1-1 one one Monsoon, fresh off a bounce back win against Horizon, faced an 0-2 Whiplash, who was already staring down the barrel of elimination. Let the bot battle begin! Needing a fast start, Whiplash started better out of the blocks, slamming Monsoon into the wall. Oh, this is what they do best! After another attack attempt was floored by the floor, Whiplash scored a small lift. And whoa! Monsoon countered with his first shot of the match, and moments later followed it up with visible damage. Whiplash gets underneath and drives it! Despite losing his disc, Whiplash continued to press but Monsoon bit back. Whiplash absorbed more hits and continued to chase Monsoon down. Until all of a sudden, he couldn't. Wow, look at that. Oh, man. Serious strength by Whiplash. All the small shots Monsoon landed finally added up, but while one light faded, another reignited. With Monsoon also struggling to move, Whiplash wiggled his way across the box, engaging Monsoon a few more times before the final bell. The initial result of the fight was a Whiplash split decision win. Whiplash! But after Monsoon appealed, they not only lost, but it became a unanimous decision. Let's start with damage. All three judges scored damage 3-2 in Monsoon's favor. But after the appeal, Derek changed his score to 4-1. As we learned in our previous judging video, damage is either considered effectiveness damage, meaning it still works to some extent, or functionality damage, meaning it cannot serve its intended purpose. Whiplash's drive damage is undoubtedly functionality damage. It prevents him from driving in a straight line entirely, and he can only approach Monsoon in the final moments via crab walking. The weapon damage is effectiveness damage. Although the disc was lifeless for most of the match, it was clearly working at the end, as was the lifter. And that is enough to change the classification. That leaves us with the defensibility damage. Whiplash lost one fork and had an armor panel bent upward. Because that was the only peeled up panel, it was still attached and no internals were badly exposed, this would also be labeled as effectiveness damage. What that all means is, according to the damage matrix, Whiplash suffered significant damage. It cannot be considered massive damage because the functionality of only one system was lost. Now, what about Monsoon? On the surface, it looks like he didn't suffer any damage. If you look closely, something is different after this hit. Wow, look at that. Oh, man. Serious strength by Whiplash, but... When Whiplash begins crab walking, Monsoon starts pulling to the right, and driving a bit slower than he was earlier in the match. He may not be crab walking like Whiplash, but the bot is clearly behaving differently. And this small amount of effectiveness damage has a huge effect on the damage matrix. It would move Whiplash's amount of damage caused from minimal to moderate, taking one point away for a 3-2 score, which is what all three judges originally had. Is that enough damage to swing a crucial point? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. Next up is Aggression, which saw a 2-1 score for Whiplash on all five cards, either side of the appeal. Let's look at the stats that won it for him. In frequency, which accounts for total attempted attacks, Whiplash outscored Monsoon 22-13. In severity, which determines the forcefulness of each attack, Whiplash shoved Monsoon into the wall or hazards 12 different times. He also scored two small hits with his disc and two lifts. Monsoon landed 16 shots, but 10 of those were small hits, causing small amounts of sparks. His biggest hit of the match was arguably his only big hit, the one that flipped Whiplash over. I also credited a monsoon with three medium hits during the following exchange. Oh, there's some spark. Oh yeah, that's pretty. Oh, so pretty. Not getting by that armor though. While all of that checks out, there's just one small problem. Of Whiplash's 16 hits, only four came from either the disc or the lifter, whereas all of Monsoon's 16 shots came from their active weapon. The aggression rules state that if the level of aggression for both bots is similar, using or attempting to use a powered weapon should count more toward aggression than pushing or ramming. Not a single judge across five cards gave Monsoon the aggression edge. Should they have done so? And that brings us to Control, which saw Lisa change her score from 2-1 Monsoon to 2-1 Whiplash, and Derek change from 2-1 Whiplash to 3-0. 
Per the rulebook, the description of control reads, quote, The ability of the bot's operators to attack an opponent at its weakest points, using their bot's weapons in the most effective way, and avoid being damaged by the opponent or the arena hazards. Control may also be a factor when two bots are in a shoving match if one bot is able to have more influence on the combined movements of the bots. Off initial reading, Whiplash doesn't meet some of these factors. His spinner died early and wasn't well utilized, and he didn't avoid being damaged. However, going to the control factors, Whiplash dictated most of the attacks, including the angle of approach. He always attacked face first, even after losing the front left wheel. According to the control matrix, you can only earn all three points if you have significant control, which is described as, quote, moving decisively and effectively, and is consistently able to attack its opponent and avoid hits by the opponent's weapon or armor. You would also need your opponent to only score minimal control, which is described as, quote, bot is rarely able, or unable, to initiate physical or weapon contact with, and also avoid attacks from, its opponent. Off initial reading, a 3-0 score sounds difficult. While Whiplash was decisive with his movements and consistent with his attacks, he didn't always avoid hits from Monsoon's weapon. Simultaneously, Monsoon may not have attacked as much as Whiplash, but it certainly wasn't a rare feat. He tried when he could, but his mobility and agility held him back at times. But let's look at one more piece of the puzzle, examples of point assignments. A 3-0 score is described as, quote, a bot that is consistently able to manage its interactions with the other bot, either by landing attacks with its own weapon, preventing attacks from its opponent's weapon, or moving their opponent into advantageous positions, it should receive all three control points. Whiplash certainly managed the interactions with 12 shoves, pushing Monsoon either into the wall or hazards. Monsoon never shoved Whiplash once. And while Whiplash may not have avoided Monsoon's weapon entirely, he minimized most of the attacks to just minor sparks, and didn't allow Monsoon to connect many big hits. And when a 2-1 control score is described as, quote, neither bot is consistently able to manage its interactions with the other bot, the argument for 3-0 grows even stronger. It wasn't even close. It was 12-0 on shoves. Whiplash may not have fully avoided the weapon, but he bullied Monsoon around the box and rarely gave up a big hit. So, what scorecard is most correct? Personally, I'd have to say Derek's score post-appeal. While there's some room for interpretation as to how many points of damage Monsoon deserved, Whiplash controlled this fight from start to finish. Most people siding with Monsoon are focused on the damage, but there are two other categories, and if you can't win them, at least get one point. Monsoon wasn't able to do that due to the good work of Whiplash. While I agree that Derek's card is probably the most accurate out of the five, I think that he did get one category wrong, being aggression. I feel like per the definitions that BattleBots gives, Monsoon was actually the victor of aggression, as he used its primary weapon more effectively than Whiplash did, while Whiplash used its drivetrain, which I think is more of a control-based action. Whiplash failed to use its disc and lifter as much as Monsoon used its disc, and Monsoon's disc was more effective and generally more used than either of Whiplash's weapons. Watching this fight, it's weird to see the judge's decision go the way it does, because Whiplash won most of the fight from a visual standpoint, but when you dig deeper into the rules and you look more into what the definitions of BattleBots give say, you can see an argument and you can see why so many people are confused, including some of the team members, as to why Monsoon lost. If you enjoyed this breakdown, please let us know with a like on the video. Comment below any other fights you would like to see us break down in the future. And of course, to keep up with all new videos, please subscribe. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.